trying to bounce back from the pandemic, going to lose everything. We begin tonight with a local woman pleading for help after thieves drove away with her entire business. Thanks for joining us at 10 o'clock. I'm Curtis Ming and I'm Elizabeth Kling. The news is also streaming live on CBS and Sacramento. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Antelope with what the thieves took and the family history that makes this so heartbreaking. Anna. Yeah, it's a very bizarre item to steal. We're talking about a large yellow candy trailer that you would find at the fair. This woman was only staying in Antelope for one night and now she's lost everything. Scrapes in the street and a broken lock. The thief left a trail behind after taking off with this bright yellow candy trailer. It belongs to Nicole Martinez. I didn't really think it was real. Sorry, I just, I still don't think it's real. I feel like it's a really bad dream. She had just gotten home to Antelope after working a fair in Boise, Idaho. She was here for just one night until her next stop, but this thief struck before she could get there, taking off with a trailer that was parked in a busy neighborhood. They would have had to come in at an angle to even hook up to it, so it was even a little bit more challenging. It hasn't been easy working in a business that depends on large crowds of people in the middle of a pandemic. There's only limited fares that are actually fully uh, going on at this time. So I just thought, oh, I caught a break and, you know, finally we're going to get out and get open. Nicole has been selling candy at fairs and festivals for 14 years. Her family even longer. The trailer is named after her uncle Marty, who ran a candy trailer for six decades. It really hurts because it's been in my family for a long time. The thief took off with history and a livelihood. Nicole depends on the sales from the candy trailer to support her daughter and grandchild. She hopes someone will spot it and call it in so she can get back to work. I just hope it was worth it to them and they're, they're you know, going to do something positive with it. I know it sounds crazy, but I don't know why else someone would do that to someone. Yeah, Nicole says she reported this theft to the CHP. We did reach out to them today, but we don't have an, an update on the investigation yet. If you do spot this trailer, you can report it to CHP.